looking forward to my eighth year on the world tour. I'm packing up and gearing all my focus into the next three events in Australia. Um, it's a lot of competition back to back, but I'm really focused and excited to start the new year with a clean slate. What makes me a tough competitor is probably my passion to want to surf well and surf my best and my drive to want to win heats. Um, I don't put the jersey on for nothing and I definitely want to perform every time I compete and if it's a win, um, obviously it's going to drive me to keep wanting to win, but I definitely go out there with the intentions to perform to the best of my ability and winning is just a cherry on top. Having Mark, um, even though he can't be here, he has a career of his own and, and goals and passions and dreams of his own to pursue. So it's kind of, it's nice because we have that distance, we have that space to focus on ourselves and um, in these selfish sports, you know, competition is so selfish and, and grueling at times, but um, even though we're not there for each other physically, we're definitely always there for each other um, mentally and emotionally. and. He helps me psych up. He also instills that faith and that that trust in myself and my abilities. And um, he's that rock when I lose or or when I win. You know, he's there to. He's just there, and <laughs> it's really nice, no matter what happens. And um, he's a competitor. He's a fighter, so he sees it all through so well. So um, I can never get mad at anything he says because I'm like, yep, you know. <laughs> Being a part of the World Surf League, we are all here for one common goal, you know, to be the world's best and um, showcase our talents. But at the end of the day, we're traveling around the past few years with um, a lot of the same faces, you know, and we make these bonds, we make these friendships, and it's kind of like a brotherhood and a sisterhood. And, um, you know, away from the contest scene, we're, we're really good friends and we cherish each other's company. and. Um, we all kind of understand the next day when the jersey's on, it's all about um, trying to win. It's not oh, really? Yeah, this one's heavier. What about this? You don't want this. Like this. Yeah, this. Look and you do it yourself. You can... Some boys say look and feel, but... Yeah, I'm going to try this. I like this one. I'm going to try this one one more time. Why? What's wrong with this one? Uh, like that little round, round squash. They're all the same. No, this one's more square. Having my dad here at Snapper is just fun because he loves to surf, and uh, watching him psych and surf all day makes me psych to surf. And um, it is nice having him on the beach between heats and just seeing his his passion for my success is second to none. So I'm really lucky. My dad's been coming to Snapper with me since day one. This is my eighth year on tour, so it's our eighth time, eighth time here together. Just having my dad here at the first event is definitely reassuring and kind of just for that comfort aspect, you know, it's like we're at home, it's no different. We're waking up, having coffee, going surfing together. Um, it's almost that feeling to just get you back into routine and be on tour, but in the most comforting way. Working with Coco for, oh man, wow, eight years, maybe longer, since Fiji when she was a little grown. She's got that real personable kind of character that everyone that meets her enjoys it and that's why she's got so many fans all around the world because she's so giving of her time to everyone around the world and you spend a little bit of time with Coco and you know, you come away from it going, yeah, she's a bloody legend.
between sets, you're kind of just trying to focus on where to put yourself for the best potential score. And um, this morning in round one, it was just really high tide and felt like I was stuck between two two peaks. So now looking at this right hand wall, starts with a beautiful first turn, front side float. She's a little bit deep, so she's out. Taking control, this one is Coco Ho. Great connection off the limb. Snaps it perfectly off the coping. Down the line speeds, beautiful. Big carve in the pocket. Coco rips one in the pocket again. Always stylish, great tempo and pace. She'll look to ditch the fins, but she'll end up getting hung up. Definitely super devastated that I didn't take advantage of round one and um, be able to open up and get to surf. It was seriously frustrating. This has been my diary. Come join me next time.